Ooh, I like the way this looks. Some of you may have noticed that your items have gone up in price recently. While many of them are typical investment items, there's also something like the stupid banana foil that had a repeat of this last summer. I don't know if it's a group of people messing with the sticker or not, but it happened again. I assume this is partly why Buff removed the trending page off of their app, which is very unfortunate because it was my favorite feature. Regardless, getting back to your items. Prices look pretty good, right? Well, when I look at it, I don't see pretty good as good enough. When comparing the crypto markets and the CS markets, I finally came around to believing that they influence each other. I was hesitant last year when I was told that, but history repeats itself. The crypto market sees some crazy liquidation and within a day, multiple CS items are up 10% or more. The surprising part for me was the rise that new operation skins have seen. When you looked at the trending tab, the highest gainers were dominated by Riptide operation skins. While I see these skins going back down throughout the next few weeks, I like what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is the first real sign of life in the CS market for months. But it's not the end goal. I can't tell someone they shouldn't sell. Profit is profit and locking that in is sometimes the smartest idea. Unless there's some massive change to the skins market or a change to Counter-Strike's future, I wouldn't recommend selling most items. If you are holding your typical investment items, this spike would seem like the foot of the mountain. There's no law that says prices will return to what they were before. If you were around for the last summer hype, you know how insane that time was. You could basically purchase any item and you would magically profit even if the item itself was undesirable. Ridiculous money was made off of items that should have never been worth anything. I didn't profit as much as I should have because I reinvested way too early. The items I purchased went down for another few months and my profits almost disappeared. I'll be smarter next time. You may ask though, will the summer hype happen again? And I will ask you, what do you think will happen if it doesn't? Does the market stall for another half a year? Does time stop because there's no summer pump? Older stickers, older cases, operation skins, beautiful and expensive crafts, is this the peak? Let's take a step back and look at the price graph of last year. Many of the items start and end at a very similar price. These are items that have been bought up, consumed, thrown in storage units, banned, and forgotten. Last summer, many items hit all-time highs. Today, many of these items have fallen all the way back down. Now let's take a look at a longer term graph. Typically, you can expect somewhere around a 20% increase when looking at the prices before the hype and after. I just mentioned how I lost money reinvesting this year. That's because I used previous years to determine what the low should look like. Prices dipped more than previous years, and unfortunately, I'm an example of that. I'm sure quite a few of you are too. While that looks like a negative, I think an explosion is imminent. For the prices to be so stagnant despite people constantly reinvesting more and more, I see an explosion on the horizon. It could be summer hype again, it could start earlier. Prices were very low before, just recently they went up 10-20% for your typical investment items like Katavisa 2015, Cologne 2014 Dignitas Hollows, Operation Skins, etc. They are up a little bit right now. So if you buy at this point in time, it wouldn't be the lowest point. But looking at the future, within the next few months, within the next year, this is still a good time to buy many of these items. If you look at the long-term graphs, they have hit much higher peaks than where they are today. I think if you utilize your buy orders properly, and you buy common investment items, you should be happy with what happens throughout this next year. You just have to find the right time to buy, the right time to sell, and the right time to reinvest because that is where I failed this last year. I will reiterate that this is speculation. If your items don't go to the moon this year, don't be surprised. Regardless, if you want my personal opinion, this is still a good time to buy and I'm excited for the future.